What's up amigos? Welcome to the Ink Builder. My name is Antonio and today's video we're going to do a little print job and we're going to show you how we do it here in Mexico. Now for this printer that we're doing, I'm actually at the guy who sold me the press because I can't do it at my house because I need to fix the wiring like I said. <laughs> but yeah, we're in his shop right now. He has a six color, four station press. All right, here, where we expose our, where we print our films, we use this, they call it Alba Nene, Alba Nene, it's basically tracing paper, and these are pretty cheap, they only sell, if you go to like the little stores, they sell you these ones, these are letter size, and the biggest ones you can find are these ones, these are tablet size, these are 11 by 17, and they're pretty cheap, they cost around like 3 pesos for each sheet. And that's what we're gonna use to burn our screen. And I usually go to Office Depot to print these because I don't have a printer to print this length of paper. And over there they charge you around like I think it's two pesos for one of these sheets and it costs you. Now this is how this guy coats his screens. It's a little different, I don't know what you might say. As you can see, we're in no light safe room. But I guess that takes time. You gotta be fast to be able to do this. Tu foca Mario? Tu foca Mario? Tu foca Mario? Here's the film that we cut. Well, actually, he cut it because I'm not doing anything right now, I'm just recording. That's how he registers his screens. <laughs> Next, now we're going to expose with the sun. Now when you do that, you gotta be really careful because one time I accidentally hit and I broke a bucket doing that with the screen. This is the order we're gonna be working on today. This is the shirts that I use here that we order. Yastic. These are the prices, they're pretty cheap. Look at that. Yeah, he's covering the registration marks because I said in the other video he doesn't use them at all. Can you believe that? 
En tu penthouse. ¿Y ahora por qué no haces registros tú? Que no, güey, no lo necesito. <laughs> yeah. That's the CM CMYK print that he did. And look at No registration marks used for that. Just eyeballing it. This was just a test print. Yeah. Try doing that with no registration marks. Another CMYK. Just eyeballing it. Every screen. Here's the liquid adhesive that we use here. Oh yeah, another thing here. They don't really use pallet tape here. Well, let's see it doesn't use it here. Test print. Now this how he registers his prints, just eyeballing it. See, that's why I'm trying to fix my wiring. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Check to see if the flash is ready. Like I said, I'm in Mexico. <laughs> Now he's, he's lifting up the shirt, that way he could cure the shirt with the flash dryer. Because if it doesn't lift it up, it's going to burn and it's going to cure right. Test print without using the registration marks. It is chingon way. Alright, this printer that we're doing right now is actually a reorder that I did in December. And there's something funny about that printer that I did. I kind of messed up. I accidentally blocked out part of the design on the screen with tape, which I'm pretty sure a lot of screen printers have made before. This, I blocked out this S right here, look. This S. And I didn't notice that error until I got to the last three shirts. And I felt pretty embarrassed. <laughs> 
and frustrated at the same time. But, you know, I told the lady, you know, I made this mistake. And the good thing was she was pretty cool about it. But this time I made sure that nothing was blocked out because I wanted to get it right. All right, time to clean the screen. Uh, like, I, like I mentioned in the other video, they use gasoline here to clean it. Which is really what he's doing right now. Puro gasolina, man. Gasolina. Yeah, no smoking allowed here. Pure gasoline. Ain't really that bad at all. Too. Now, tip to save on emotion and time. If you can fit two designs in one screen, it helps out a lot. As you can see here, we have two chest prints for two different designs on the same screen. Apparently the power went out. Just trying to fix this problem. We only have two shirts to go, but we have no light to cure the shirt. Those two tiny wires feeding the entire building. Can you believe that? Va a ser metal directo. No sé, pero pues. No, no, no. No hay luz. Find a cure. Find a cure. All right, that's it for the print job. It was a small order. It was just 32 shirts. But I'll try to make more videos, going into more detail on how we expose the emotion, like I said it before, the way we print films, the designs into printing those films, and cleaning and reclaiming. But that will take more longer to make those videos. But in the meantime, that's it. Peace out.